Here we go. Welcome to another edition of Off the Court right here in the DC 12 Clubhouse. I'm Dave Johnson. Of course, you know the deal. This is the exclusive uh, weekly question and answer series exclusive to you DC 12 Club members. And we are so thankful uh, for your support. And to that end, we have a very special guest today already. Just loving his smile and can't wait to see the smile when he's here in Washington, DC. Via the NBA draft from Michigan State, it is our pleasure to say hello to Cassius Winston. And before we get into it, Hey, Cassius, hello. And, and by the way, cool sweatshirt. I love you. You're repping your high school, the University of Detroit Jesuit Cubs, even though you told me you weren't a good baseball player, but welcome. And I think you got a pretty good basketball gig. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. I'm trying to stick to basketball. It's working out for me so far, so I'm, I'm going to keep working on that. Well, you mentioned that, and I, I want all our members here of the DC 12 uh, Clubhouse to, to wrap uh, their heads around these numbers. Uh, Cassius is one of four players in NCAA Division I history to record at least 1,900 points and 850 assists. Finished his career at Michigan State with 894 assists, most in Big Ten Michigan State history while leading the Spartans to the 2019 Final Four. And, and of course, I mention that because you're coming to Washington, D.C. And his memory serves me, Washington, D.C. was a pretty good town to uh, Cassius Winston, did, did you think of that at all with uh, the, you beat Duke in the Elite Eight to, to get to that Final Four? And you, you did all right that day. Uh, yeah, I did a little bit. D.C.'s been well to me so far in my basketball career, so I'm going to try to I'm gonna try to keep it going. <laughs> well, and that's what we're looking forward to. And, you know, you, you've been uh, – the past, you know, uh, recent times, of course, after you've been drafted, uh, dealing with, with, with so many questions. And one thing that really stood out is you talked about making it to the, the NBA is – you kept using the word we, and for you, it, it very much is a, a family um, success story. If you could just share a little bit about that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's, it's, it's a we thing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody made sacrifices. Everybody played their part in it one way or another, whether it's keeping my head level, whether it's driving me to a gym, whether it's somebody for me to lean on, somebody to be there for me. So it is a we thing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in my circle, everybody around me was genuinely happy. You know what I'm saying? It felt like they, like I said, it felt like they got drafted. You know what I'm saying? It felt like that same type of experience. So, you know, that those are my people. I, that's, I love them to death. And I'm going to I'm gonna try to keep it going for them. And still very much uh, in your heart is, is your brother. As you've overcome and had to deal with the loss uh, of your brother. But uh, I'm sure uh, you're bringing him to Washington in the NBA. Oh, yeah, everywhere I go. Everywhere I go, he's going to be right there with me, alongside me every step of the journey. How has that experience changed you? That's a loaded question. Uh, in a lot of ways, a lot of ways. Uh, opens your eyes to a whole different world. You know what I'm saying? You just, you appreciate so much more. Uh, and you realize a lot of things aren't important. And a lot of some things are very important that you take for granted. You know what I mean, so just trying to be appreciative, trying to wake up each and every day and just enjoy that day. You know what I mean, that's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about enjoying this day, enjoying my people, having a good time, doing the things that make us happy, make me happy, and trying to enjoy the, the most of it. Seize the moment and, and appreciate it. And, and along the lines of appreciation, uh, can you talk about how it, it made you feel that the Washington Wizards certainly appreciated your talent because they thought, wait a minute, we have a chance to get Cassius Winston. We're going to make a trade in the NBA draft, and we're going to bring Cassius Winston to Washington. How does that make you feel? I mean, it, it feels good to be wanted. I tell you that. It feels good to be wanted somewhere. It feels good to go somewhere with, you know, such a great program, such a high uh, talent, you know what I'm saying, so many possibilities. And to be wanted to bring aboard that and for, you know, something that I've been working on all my life, like I said, it's, it's, it's a feeling that's kind of unmatched. And, and you come from Michigan State with, you know, such a great pedigree and Tom Izzo, a legendary coach. And we're going to get to some a season ticket member questions. And, and there is some focused on Michigan State. But was it true that Draymond Green, was he the first one to congratulate you from the Michigan State family? Uh, that's tough. He might have been. He might have been close. I don't know. They all came flooded at once. I, I, don't, I don't necessarily know who was first. Uh, like my name got called and then just it, my phone just started flooding. So I can't tell you who was first. <laughs> but but what did he what did Draymond Green say to you? Uh, what was just, his message? Uh, yeah, congratulations. You know, all the hard work paid off and prove him wrong. You know what I mean? Like all the teams that passed up on me, all the teams that, you know, 
skipped up on me, you know what I'm saying, whatever, whatever. You got your opportunity. This is all you need. It. This is all you want. Just go out there and make it happen. So I'm excited to get out there, excited to go out there and play, win some games. Is that, is that edge a big advantage? I mean, I mean we, we heard stories of, you know, some of the great players, you know, creating uh, edges like that. And, and now you've certainly been given one that, that you want to prove everyone wrong. Oh, definitely. Like I said, it's a, it's a chip on my shoulder that I've been carrying for as long as I remember. So it's not, I'm not in an uncomfortable situation. I'm actually just probably my best situation. So to go out there with something to prove with, on a mission, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that I was going to pay off my favor. Visiting with one of the newest members of the Washington Wizards. Boy, it's so great to say that from Michigan State, uh, Cassius Winston here in the D.C. Uh, 12 Clubhouse. And uh, Cassius, just talk about your uh, love for basketball. Uh, what, what is your relationship with the game of basketball? Uh, and and, and how, how can you describe that? Because uh, just as I've heard you talk about the game, your, your smile just comes bursting through. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's just it's a part of me. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a part of me. I've been playing basketball since I was three or four years old. Uh, it's just it, was some, it started as something that me, my brothers, and my dad did. Like, that was just our thing. That was our way of being together. That was our way of hanging out, and that's just – that's the most fun I had, you know what I'm saying? Like, playing with them, working on our game, getting better. Like, that's just – that's my safe place. So, like, when I, ever, I mean, whenever I get a chance to go out there and play the game and play something I love, and now even get paid to play something I love, like, you know what I'm saying? It just did, don't get much better than that. There's nothing quite like that feeling when you're going up against a, a family member. I think about the one-on-one -on -one battles I've had with my son in, in the driveway. So that yeah, is it, it, right, it's rough. <laughs> it's rough. It's rough. Fights, screaming, scratching, all that. Yeah, a bit through all that. So, like I said, but that's just, it, it's, it's all out of love, though. That's, that's the best part about it. Like, it's all out of love. And it don't get better than that. Yeah. It, the competition it wrapped around a, a lot of love. And that, right, that's, right. That's, a, that's a pretty cool thing. We, we do have a lot of season ticket member questions. And again, we appreciate so much your support. And thank you for joining us in the DC 12 clubhouse with Cassius Winston. And we, we touched on, uh, you know, Draymond Green connecting with you. And, and again, Michigan State, uh, just a wonderful program. And, and uh, one of the questions is about playing for Tom Izzo and how, what, what's that program like? Can you give us a little uh, sense of it and, and how it's helped you make the transition or how you think it'll help you make the transition to the NBA? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's a high level, high caliber, uh, go at it, practice hard, play hard, uh, compete. Like that's, that's the program. That's what it's built on. Tom Izzo, greatest coach of all time, uh, in your ear, pushing you, pushing you the limits that you didn't know that you could, you could go to. So, you know, just being in that type of environment where, like winning is like required almost, you know what I'm saying? Like winning is the standard. Like if you don't win at Michigan State, it's most likely like you the problem, not necessarily anybody else, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you the problem. So being in that environment, you know what I'm saying? Where you've got to push yourself, you got to compete, you got to play against the best, you got to be the best at all times. Like it just prepares you to go out here at this next level against the best of the best and just trust yourself. You know what I mean? Like I just, I trust, I got a hundred, a hundred percent belief in what I can do and that I'm gonna make it and I'm gonna make something happen just because I've been through so many battles, I've been through so many wars, I've been tested so many times. Uh, you know, you mentioned that word trust. Uh, for you, that's really what it's all about as you, it seems anyway, as I watch you talk and describe things, as you get set for the NBA, you have the utmost confidence because you trust yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, like I said, I trust myself, trust what I've been through. And I, I trust my work, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know if I'm running to a wall, I'm going to go ahead and buckle down. I'm going to figure out how to get through it, around it, over it. Like, something's going to happen. I'm going to make sure it happens, you know? So, like, I, I just – I know that I'm going to do that to myself. I know I'm not going to quit on myself. So, therefore, if I'm not going to quit, it's only one option for me. <laughs> well, and, and Tom Izzo, what has he said uh, since you've now been drafted by the Washington Wizards? Oh, man, he said how proud he was of me. Uh Send me a long text, congratulations. Uh, and just, like I said, back to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, now we're back to that that phase where, uh, you know, people say, a lot of people can say you can't do this. A lot of people might say, this is why you can't make it. You know what I'm saying? You got an opportunity. You got an opportunity for a reason. You know what to do. You know what to do with it. So he's been there. He's going to be with me in my corner. I know he's going to support me. I know he's going to help me figure it out too. Well, and, and Michigan State, again, has uh, been a great pipeline to the NBA. Some guy named Magic Johnson also had some high praise uh, 
for Cassius Winston. That's got to be pretty cool when, when Magic Johnson's in your corner. Your thoughts oh, on that? What Legendary. Legendary. I remember I was in shock that, like, even, like, early in Michigan, I was, I was shocked that Magic know my name. Like, I was like, that's Magic Johnson. You know? Like, Magic Johnson knows knows my name. Like, that was crazy. So, like, just – he's always been, like, he come back all the time, always got good words to say, always talking highly of me, always just helped me out, guiding me, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just been a real, a really good dude, a really good person to have. And that's Magic Johnson as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's nice that I know. Like, I can say I know Magic Johnson. So, that's crazy. Well. Wow. And I can say now that I know Cassius Winston, who knows Magic Johnson. So that, <laughs> that's, that's abusing. We're busy with Cassius Winston. Boy, it's just so great that he is now part of the Washington Wizards. And again, as we stress, the, the Wizards, they, they went after Cassius Winston, and they want him here in D.C., and we're so glad that he's spending some time with us here in the D.C. 12 uh, clubhouse. Uh, is there another season ticket member question? Uh, is there a current NBA player that, that you feel maybe your style of play most closely matches? Um, I mean, I, I would say it's a little mixtures of, of people. You know what I'm saying? I could say, like, some Devontae Graham-type players. Uh, Monte Morris is a player, you know, I watch a lot. Uh, Chris Paul, uh, you know, guys like that who kind of just, you know, know how to play uh, Van Fleet, Fred Van Fleet. Like, just know how to kind of play within themselves, get to their spots, create space, be consistent. You know what I'm saying? Things like that that kind of help you just stay out there on the floor and make things happen. Do you have another question for the season ticket member? Do you have a any goal in mind for the the first year, or, or as you make this transition, uh, is there a a checklist that that you uh, want to go through to help you have success? Uh, honestly, I haven't really got to the checklist, but I'm pretty sure I would make one. Uh, I just want to get better. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to get better. I want to play, and I want to be a piece on the team. Like, that, that's what I want to be. I want to be. When you look at the Washington Wizards and who they got to play tonight and who's going to be on the floor. Like, I want Cassius Wins to be on that on that list of names. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, yeah, you got to watch out for him. He's going to do this. He's going to help the team do this. Like, he's going to be out there. And I just want I want to kind of keep building that, start from there, and then build on from that. And again, maybe to that point, just how would you describe uh, how Cassius Winston plays and how you want to play in, in the NBA? But if, if you were – on a job interview and you were trying to sell yourself, what, what would you tell someone? Uh, I would just, I would say I'm a playmaker. You know what I mean? I, if I got to hit the shot, I'm going to take the shot. If I got to get the guy, you know, next to me, got to get him a shot, I'm going to make sure I do that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just going to do whatever I can to go out there and make winning plays, make winning plays and help my team win. And if I'm doing that, I feel like I'm doing my job. Another question about, and just get, get your take on the Wizards and specifically, interaction with John Wall because he's one of the best in the business. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I can't wait to meet him. I actually, I've talked to John Wall a couple of times before, uh, like before I was even like, even before my senior year of college, you know what I'm saying? Just like, he sent me out some words. He sent me out some words. My brother passed just, you know, things like that. Just like I said, a solid dude, real cool dude. And that's John Wall. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's John, we were John Wall from when I was in high school. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, just watching him have that success, watching him go out there and then going out there to be able to just pick his brain, learn from him, try to follow his footsteps. Uh, along those lines, as you're coming to Washington, D.C., is there anything in particular uh, that you look forward to uh, about living in D.C.? Uh, as, of course, uh, your last time here went pretty well as you got to the Final Four. So is there anything, anything in particular <laughs> about D.C.? Uh, I mean, no, I love D.C. I got some family out there. Uh, I love the environment. I love the energy. I just, I love DC as a city. Uh, that's actually honestly crazy because I was talking about like you know you talk about like when I'm done playing places that I want to live. Like I actually mentioned like being out there in that area because I enjoyed it so much. So I, the fact that I'm actually there right now, about to be in the city, uh, living in the city, I'm gonna try to embrace as much as I can. You mentioned you so you have family in the in the Washington DC area. Yeah. So my uh, my uncle Will. Uh, he got him, his wife, two daughters. They live in uh, Arlington, I'm pretty sure. Yep. I, yep, so, so they live there. So, like I said, I'm going to have somebody, you know what I'm saying, home-cooked meals every now and then, you know, somebody just to be there. Well, that, that can make all the difference in the world, those, those home-cooked right. meals. Right, that's all you need sometimes. Bring that, bring that home cooking. Well, uh, Washington's <laughs> about to become your home. We're going to have some fun here right now. We have a little rapid uh, uh, fire question segment where, it, you know, it's kind of this or that question so that our DC 12 club members can, can really get to, to know you. So I'm going to give you a couple of choices and you tell me 
you know, which is your favorite? It's this or that are rapid fire questions. You're, you're ready uh, for this? That, yeah, let's do it. All right, Xbox or PlayStation? PlayStation. Play, any re reason why? Uh, I, I like the controller. I, I don't know. I think PlayStation is better, smoother, uh, controller better, all type of stuff. I'm just a PlayStation guy. Okay. I think somehow you just probably earned a free play PlayStation. Well done. Hey, hopefully, <laughs> bring it my way. Dogs or cats? Dogs. I can't Dogs. stand cats. Cannot stand cats. There's one cat I like. My girl got a cat named Coco. Coco is old, though. So, like, I deal with him because he just, all he do is lay around, eat, chill. But other than that, can't do cats. Yeah. Any any particular reason why they're too unpredictable or just too Yeah, I just don't. They too, like, sneaky. You don't know what they're doing. You don't know where they at. Like, it's just all that. You just, I don't really like that. Yeah. Okay. So, you're a dog person. There we go. Mm -hmm. it's, it's funny. It probably goes one way or the other. Waffles or pancakes? This this is a tough one. These are tough questions. Uh, Pancakes. 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 I don't, actually, I'm not really a big fan of either one of them. Like they, okay. I'd I rather really like have some hash browns and eggs or something before I eat some pancakes. Okay. We <laughs> make sure that we included a couple sponsors here that are great for the Washington Wizards. McDonald's or Chick-fil-A? There's no wrong Chick answer. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Chick for sure. Now, on, on the, uh, the, the chicken sandwich, uh, to me, the pickle makes a difference. You like the pickle on the sandwich? The pickle? That's the, yeah. I'm not, I don't like pickles. Wow. No pickles. Take the pickles off. You Take the pickles it. off. Yeah, with the uh, the Chick Fil A sauce. That's all you need. All right. Well, when when you come to Washington, I'll buy you Chick Fil A. I'll get your pickle. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like a deal. All right. Monday night football or Thursday night football? Monday night. Monday night. Okay. Any yeah. reason why or just like the start your week? I, like, I, I, I prefer it on the Monday night. I feel like Thursday night is kind of like midweek. You know what I mean? Like you kind of got to stop to watch football. Monday night is like. Fresh start of the week, watch a good football. Wow. Okay, Monday night. Low top sneakers or high top sneakers? Low tops. I can't wear high tops. Okay. All right. <laughs> Another <laughs> gripping question. Uh, regular, there's probably a psychological study of what this all means. Regular M&Ms or peanut M&Ms? Peanut M&Ms, I think. All right, blue cheese or ranch? Ranch. Ranch. Okay. Any yeah. reason or just taste? Uh, taste, definitely taste. I can't stand blue cheese. Well, Cassius Winston, we thank you so much for your time. And as you're visiting here with our, our DC 12 club members and DC 12 clubhouse, these are the supporters that are really going to be cheering you on this season. But again, uh, so proud of all you've accomplished. And uh, again, everyone here in Washington is just buzzing that Cassius Winston is coming to the Washington Wizards. So again, thank you so much for the time. For sure. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. We thank you for joining us. So this week on this edition of Off the Court, wow, with Cassius Winston. And remember, like me, he likes peanut m and So we know, we know he's a good dude. Hey, listen, be uh, on the lookout for other off the courts as we visit you each and every week in the DC 12 Clubhouse. And so make sure you, you check out your email. For Cassius Winston, I'm Dave Johnson. My sincere appreciation for your support. Thanks for watching.